Hey everybody, it's Ben here with another thermal video of uh, my Vectrix electric motorcycle. Uh, this time I have the second set of Meanwell power supply set up as a second thousand watt charger. So I just have these kind of experimentally set up so they're not, they're not permanently mounted or anything. I've just got them set up here. Uh, here is one set of three as one one thousand watt charger. So it's four, or uh, excuse me, it's three forty eight volt uh, power supply set up uh, in series for 150 volts, uh, and then I also have a second one. Uh, now they do get pretty warm when they're running. We're in the range of about 124 volts, which is uh, pretty warm to the touch. Uh, I wouldn't want to leave my hand on there for too long. Uh, interesting thing too, I don't know why this is, but I did turn up the current on um, both sets all the way, and for whatever reason, the set on the right, I can actually feel it's a little bit warmer than the one on the left, and I don't know why that is. Go figure. Maybe I uh, need to double check those uh, current uh, settings. Uh, so those are both pretty warm, but I've been charging about an hour and a half. Um, right now, we're putting about uh, 15 amps DC into the battery pack. And more importantly, I'm running this all on 240 volt through a J1772 connector. You can see the end cord here. Of course, it's uh, cold. Um, I'm using an adapter that takes it to kind of a regular uh, 120 volt style outlet, except it's 240 volts. The actual connector itself there uh, feels pretty, pretty cool. I mean, it shows up on the thermal, but only compared to some other things. It is early evening right now, so we're in full shade. There's no direct sunlight um, affecting the heat. And if we look down here, that's barely warm. Um, you know, it's less less than uh, 100 degrees. So uh, the big advantage here is that at 240 volts, you draw half the current as at uh, 120 volts. So, uh, so also half the heat, which is a good thing, because otherwise... Um, that cord would probably not be good enough for pulling that much power through. Um, so overall, I'm, I'm liking this. This means I can run all three chargers on a single uh, J1772 connection. And if I got to, I can uh, run them on uh, three separate 120 volt circuits, but that would be challenging. Uh, because I would need three long extension cords and uh, makes a lot more heat at 120 volts too. But so far it looks very promising. Um, more later. Oh, interestingly here too, um, the Vectrix's built-in charger has stopped charging. Uh, so that is up under the cover here. So uh, it doesn't even show up on the thermal anymore. Um, once it's done running, it actually cools down pretty fast. Uh, these power supplies have no fans on them, which is good because they're totally waterproof, weatherproof. You know, they're designed for outdoor use on like LED streetlights, uh, but they do get hot. So I'm going to need to mount those some way where they can um, uh, get lots of airflow over them and radiate out some of that heat. Maybe even stick a little fan to blow over the top of them. So that's that. See you next time.